Okay, in our first episode of Viral Rewind, we were looking at the Skynet DOS virus. Now, Skynet is a memory resident virus, so when we run it, it loads it right into memory. We don't get any kind of notification or text output to DOS there, it just brings us back to the problem. But it is in memory and will begin infecting .exe files. It does not infect .com files, but it does monitor whether they have run or not along with the .exes because Skynet has a counter for when its payload goes off and it's about five or six iterations of detecting a .exe or .com file that's run before the payload triggers so we'll try to keep a count of that so anyway let's find a couple of sacrificial GOAT files as we call them with our executables here let's look at attrib so attrib is 18,247 bytes when it's not infected. We'll run it so that Skynet injects its code. And this is running from a floppy drive, and you can tell there's something going on there <clears throat> that's allowing something that's not just reading the disk, but it's also being written to, which kind of gives you an idea something's going on. Plus, it's taken longer. When we look at attrib now, it's increased to 19,672 bytes. So Skynet has obviously infected it with its code. So, and we've iterated one time since we've loaded Skynet. So keep in count of that. So let's infect another file. Let's look at the pinned. 11,186. Let's run the pinned. And again, if you can hear the floppy drive, you can tell that data is being written, not just read. Let's look at it again. And 12,616 bytes. The virus code itself is roughly 1,400 bytes in size. So that's about the average that the file size increase will be. Okay, so that's two files that's infected by it. So we got about three or more times that we need to run files to get infected or rerun files that have been infected before the payload triggers. And Skynet does an interesting thing with the floppy drive lights. We'll try to show that if we can. So now let's just go ahead and try to infect more exe files. I'm not going to bother with the directory command. So let's do fast open. Get it spelled right. Let's look at mem. And let's do X copy. So let's see, what was that, four times? Oh, here's the payload. It's five times. So we get this message print out on a red background to the screen. So as you can see from what the message reads, Terminator message, don't be afraid. I'm a very kind virus. You have done many works today. So I will let your computer slow down. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Press any key to continue. And when you do, you get this blank screen. And most people would think at this point that the computer has actually hung up. It's no longer responsive or anything. Or is it? Well, actually, it's gone back to the command prompt, but we can't see that. What you need to do is use the clear screen command, CLS, enter. That'll do a clear screen and bring the prompt back up. Or, because this is an IBM PS1 Model 2011, there's a built-in ROM shell that we can back out to, which will also clear the screen. So I just type exit, enter. And notice that it's taking a little while for this to bring up because it's accessing it from read-only memory. See, now we've got the shell come up. Let me bring contrast down a little bit. So this is the ROM shell. 
and we have a mouse pointer but you notice it's not moving very well you know when Skynet's not looted this moves around very fluidly and moving around menus takes longer but what's what's really telling is when we go back to the DOS prompt so let's go back to that so when we go to DOS we get this Terminator 1 created by Skynet in Chung Lee and look at how the text is being printed the text doesn't just display it's actually being printed out in the same manner as the Skynet payload message was so what has Skynet done it's hooked into the timer interrupt of the CPU this has a 286 processor in it and by hooking into the timer interrupt it has slowed it down. so you've seen when we do directory commands and things before if I do one of those now notice that it's taking longer and the directory listing is not coming up quickly it's coming up one at a time as it prints it and if we do the classic one even that one takes longer and because it has messed with the timer interrupt causing the computer to slow way down as you can see it's common for programs, commands, or anything in DOS now to actually crash or hang the computer. So, and if you try to run an infected file, or a file that's not infected that subsequently does get infected by Skynet, you'll always get that Terminator 1 message by Chung Li. See? And the program will run, but it'll always display Terminator 1 created by Skynet in Chung Li. So. So as I said, it will hang on certain operations. So let me switch over to the second floppy drive and do a direct listening of this. This is actually my virus diskette where Skynet and some other viruses I have are stored right now. Now the disk is right protected, but some programs on here are not infected. So let's try to infect this VGA program. Now you notice this write protect error writing drive error comes up because, again, Skynet is trying to write its code into the uninfected executable file. But as you see, it hasn't finished writing out the error code. And I can't do anything on the computer now. As you see, it's beeping, so the computer's hung up. But if you do a control alt delete, memory is cleared, Skynet's no longer resident. So the computer is now back up to full speed. Of course, we also lost our nice 60 hertz refresh, so it's probably flickering at you now. So it's gone back to full speed. So Skynet's no longer in memory, but we do have those infected files still. So if I run at trib again, we've now loaded Skynet back into memory. So that is pretty much it for the Skynet DOS virus. It's a memory resident virus. It'll stay in memory once you load it. And because it's parasitic, it'll infect .exes, not .coms. And after five or six iterations, you get the payload, screws from around with the timer interrupt, slows the computer down, and just generally everything doesn't work well.